Rise of the Tomb Raider is the most fun I've had with a Lara Croft game since 1996. Its story is full of danger and intrigue, its tombs are dastardly, and I was as struck by its huge, romantic environments as I was as a child playing the original. Stunning. Although I could have done with a few more puzzles and a few less firefights overall, I enjoyed every big-hearted second of it. Rise of the Tomb Raider revels in its broad Indiana Jones-style story, which gallops along at a great clip through gloriously over-the-top sequences, and it's also grounded with a strong emotional throughline. Minute to minute, Lara Croft shines here. She's confident and smart and reacts to danger with an action hero's calmness and intuition. Yet, this time round, a newfound obsessiveness has made her ambitions a little more complex. No turning back. Unlike 2013's Tomb Raider, I wasn't wincing at her constant broken bones, ah! but I did see the cracks in her moral compass. Elsewhere, Rise of the Tomb Raider's supporting cast are less well-developed, but fortunately they occupy far less screen time than Lara's juicy antagonists. To talk about these two in too much detail would spoil some great twists, but their morally grotesque foes and their clash of wills result in moments of real darkness. There's more complexity in how Lara traverses her world, too. All her tools, including the great new wire spool, can be used in quick succession to keep her in the sky for much longer, and the most heart-hammering moments in Rise of the Tomb Raider came from frantic, acrobatic chases as I fumbled for the right button hundreds of feet above the ground. Lara's rope arrows get a lot more use here, too, and the puzzles which utilize these span a remarkable range. While puzzles have been baked deeper into the main storyline than they were in Lara's last outing, the most interesting ones are still those that you have to hunt down on the side. Rise of the Tomb Raider's challenge tombs are its highlight, imaginative, environmentally gorgeous, and increasingly tough. In fact, my only real criticism of Rise of the Tomb Raider's puzzle solving is that there isn't more of it. As I played through the main storyline, I increasingly found myself hurrying through combat sections just so I could hunt down my next puzzle fix. Not that combat's a chore. While its third-person shooting is the least inspired aspect of Rise of the Tomb Raider, Lara can now build destructive items on the fly, all of which can turn a mundane shootout into a pile of dead bodies in seconds. It's a fun, vicious, and slightly ridiculous new ability, which adds a great deal of variety to enemy encounters. It does, however, make Rise of the Tomb Raider's much-touted stealthy approach rather redundant. While you do get XP bonuses for stealth takedowns, Lara is such a potent fighter that I didn't find any real incentive to avoid combat altogether. Happily, playing with Lara's arsenal is still nice and crunchy. Weapons are upgradable based on parts you can find scattered throughout the world, which injects new novelty into combat every few hours. Lara is as powerful as a Terminator by the end of Rise of the Tomb Raider on standard difficulty mode, however, something to be considered when choosing how you want to play. Outside of the main storyline, there's plenty to discover, and Rise of the Tomb Raider's beautiful semi-open world, crafted with great imagination, provides the incentive to hunt for it. It isn't purely exploration-driven, either. There are mission givers and area-specific challenges that offer rewards. For true completionists, there are plenty of relics, documents, murals, and caves to discover, which can take an average playthrough from 12 to 15 hours to around 30 or 40. Rise of the Tomb Raider also offers additional play in its Expedition Mode, which replaces 2013's inessential multiplayer with a fun enough way to compete against yourself and your friends in challenges that you can customize through modifying cards. Though fun, I certainly wouldn't recommend paying for these cards with real-world money. Rise of the Tomb Raider raises the bar set by Lara's last outing with a rollicking adventure story, strong villains, gorgeous vistas, and smart puzzles. Though the mandatory combat doesn't distinguish itself, Lara's newfound versatility on the battlefield makes fighting a lot more fun. Once again, it's Lara herself, however, who steals the show. Her complex ambitions and hard resolve showing new sides to a character who has well and truly grown from Survivor to the most fascinating action hero in video games today. For more on Rise of the Tomb Raider, stick with IGN.